Hi folks, Happy New Year's. I hope you had a wonderful and safe holiday season. I'm Gino, the Painting Acolyte, and today we're going to talk about my Warhammer Reddit Secret Santa. Bit of a quick one today, folks, but I wanted to put out a video and take this opportunity to wish you all a Happy New Year and a Happy Holidays. It's a new year and a new start, and I hope it's already going well for you. I'm excited for new opportunities, and I'm hoping to grow my channel and my video skills in this new year. But enough of all that, let's get into the video. My R Warhammer Secret Santa gift recipient gave me a little bit to work off of. They play 40k, they collect Imperial Guard, and they were working on an undead-themed guard battalion. I was stumped for a bit, considering that most of my collection and skill set resolves a- I was stumped for a bit, considering that most of my collection and skill set revolves around fantasy. Eventually, though, I decided on a unique kit bash of some kind of necromancer hero character for my Secret Santa's army. I had a spare Swamp Kala Shaman from Dominion that I figured would be a great fit. It looks human enough, and the pose is very sinister and works for an undead. I added some extra details to my Necromancer Shaman. I carved out its head and replaced it with a skull, I added a servo skull floating above it tethered to it by a thick bundle of wires, and I added a mechanical arm brandishing a plasma gun jutting from its back to lean a bit towards some of the Adeptus Mechanicus design that you'd find in an Imperial Guard army. I also came up with the idea of having this necromancer mounted atop an Imperial Guard Sentinel.
I've always wanted to do something with these. They're a pretty old model, but they look incredible. The small two-legged walker is kind of an iconic sci-fi staple, and the Warhammer Sentinel is a really great take on it that I've wanted to work, do something with for quite some time, but never really had the opportunity to do. Plus, the model was actually super easy and fun to put together, and it has a lot of customization and posing options. Cool model. I assembled the walker as normal until I got to the cockpit, which I needed to modify to fit the shaman. I left off the roof and did some cutting, and used some sci-fi building panels that I had in my bits box to build out the back of the walker a bit, giving a large, sort of open-topped canopy back for the shaman to sit in. From there, it was on to greebling and detailing. I used some of the parts of the Sentinel kit as they are supposed to be used, as well as repurposing a number of bits from the kits in different ways to make a unique and imposing figure. I also leaned on my bits collection to add some unique undead flair to the walker, solidifying the theme of the kit bash. I left it unpainted and unbased as I sent it off, so that my Secret Santa could make it fit perfectly in their army. Alongside this kit bash, I plundered my massive bits hoard, sending my Secret Santa a full half-gallon Ziploc bag full of undead and Imperial Guard bits, as well as any general-purpose sci-fi bits that I had.
that was my R Warhammer Secret Santa gift. It arrived intact and in safe, and is now at home in its new forever army. My Secret Santa loved the kitbash and the bits, and I had a great time getting to work on my first ever vehicle build. I don't work on sci-fi minis too often, but this kitbash was a fun challenge, and I really enjoyed it. That's all, folks. Leave a like if you like this video, and in the comments, tell me about what goals and resolutions you have for this new year. I wish you all the best in the new year, and I hope that your holiday season has been warm, safe, and comfortable. I'm Gino the Painting Acolyte, and I'll see you next time. Stay well.